This morning it was cold outside. Reminds me of the time when John Fuang was out meditating in the forest. He put up his umbrella tent, and before he did it, he checked around to make sure there was no, no, there were no signs of any storms or clouds. He didn't see anything, because one of the vows you make as a meditating monk is that once you put up your umbrella tent for the night, you stay right where you, you put it up. You don't move it around. And so he was woke, woken up at midnight by a storm. It came up out of nowhere. Wind was blowing, rain was blowing, it was cold. So he put all of his robes, except for his under robe, into his bowl and sat there meditating. And the theme of his meditation was, the body is wet, but the mind isn't wet. And he got so that he actually saw that the body was one thing, the mind was something else, and you could make a separation. And so he sat there with the mind was not wet. In other words, it wasn't complaining about the cold, it wasn't complaining about being wet. That was the duty of the body, to be wet, but the mind wasn't touched by water. It wasn't touched by the cold air. And it's a good lesson for all of us when the weather is too hot, when the weather is too cold. Remember, it's just a matter of the body. The mind doesn't have to take it on as an extra burden. You can still function. If it's cold, you try to find the warmest spot in the body and focus your attention there. If it's hot, you try to find the coolest spot and focus your attention, focus your attention there. This way you don't have to take on what's happening out in the world. You don't have to make it a burden on the mind. And this, of course, applies to all kinds of things. As I would have said, meditators live in a world where there's a lot of confusion, but the meditators are not confused. We live in a world where there's conflict, but we're not in conflict. You have to learn how to make that separation so as to maintain the well-being of the mind. So when something happens outside, keep reminding yourself, that's just outside. What's really important is what's going on inside your mind. What you're thinking about, what you're concerned about, what your plans are. That's your real possession. That's what you're really responsible for. When you look after your real responsibility, okay, other things will take care of themselves. Always keep that point in mind. 